for me, I've always been someone that's a proponent of sampling. Um, you know, one of my biggest records I've done was Paper Planes by M.I.A. You know, when I sampled the Clash record, it was more than just a good loop. I felt like what the Clash represented was similar to what M.I.A. represented. It's sort of like an alternative, you know, somewhere between reggae and rock music. We had a really good negotiation with the Clash's publisher. Nowadays, it's, it's not that easy. Like, when it comes to samples, the old school guys, they just kill you. They make it impossible for you to sample them. It's almost like, you don't have to replay it, you just fuck off. Put it on a mixtape for free. Big shout to M.I.A. When I actually got sued for Santi Gold, I lost like $60,000 on a clearance on that. A song I did with Blackstar called Stuntastic, which I sampled an Underworld record that we just couldn't clear. We couldn't clear the master, the publishing side, nothing, because I don't know why, but a lot of times these, these guys that are, you know, five years or ten years behind me, or, you know, ten, you know, ten years older when the records come out, they don't even know where the publishing is anymore. It's, these guys are just like, I don't understand it. I'm just going to freeze it. Because if they don't understand, you know, they're scared of it. They're scared of what we're doing. If they can come to work, I can sell things legitimately again. It'd be great. I don't have to pay my lawyer so much money. I'd be able to like release things I really believe in. Um, it'd be amazing to be able to have control of that again.